Let's kick his ass, yeah. Let's kick his ass, yeah. Let's fuck him up, yeah. Let's beat him up, yeah. And run his pockets, yeah. Take all his shit, yeah. Take all his riches, yeah. Take all his bitches, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a little veranda. Cool. And then upstairs as well. It's our bedroom. Let's have a look. Yep, we're going to a pop-up shop and hopefully find some gems because it's Christmas and we got to spend money. Right, here we are heading to 5 Combra Street. This little pop-up called Curated. Uh, a friend of mine actually sent this to me so pretty excited to see. Yeah, laugh out the door but um, yeah, the, the guy has like a vintage car here. Yeah, he's literally over here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a three wheeler. Dude, that's actually so cool. What the hell? No but, worries. Yeah. What brands do we stock? We specialize in Japanese avant garde. Mm. So, Kwame Say and Yoji, but also <laughs> if you get some of the lesser appreciated ones, like Kenzo, for example, is one we're trying to push. Yeah. Um, and then Antwerp 6, um, mm. some of the Europeans, and we really love the British as well. Nice. The Queen nice, and Galliano. Nice. Kind of identify the most important designers of all time mm. and bring them here and treat it more like art than it is fashion. I feel like caught up about this buggy though. Do you like that skirt? Do you know how I have like my librarian skirt that you don't like? Yeah, it's really unusual, this one. It's, it's mainline, so it's a bit more elevated than the usual. Very thick pleating. Yeah. Um, and this detailing you... on the side. Yeah. It's oh, like it's open slip. Like yeah. What do you think? Try it on. Is it like my... Uh, 13,000 pounds. 13,000 pounds. I really want to show people what we've got <laughs> behind Dude. closed doors. Those pieces out front already. Yeah. Yeah. Like every every pop up, we try and show at least a few really really special pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a there's a few collectors in Sydney who are who are super keen on that kind of stuff, but it's very much a niche. Would you guys ever set up like a I guess like a permanent brick and mortar? Possibly. Yeah. Mm. yeah the whole reason we do pop ups is because we don't like the idea of permanence. I guess. Yeah. Um, so we kind of feel that you know if we. If we committed to one space, we just wouldn't be able to do enough with it right now because we want to be more dynamic, you mm. know? Super cute. Oh, so cute. For sure. I think I like that the most, actually. Yeah, I was like actually that's the best one. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. You like it? It's better than your grandma vest that you have. Okay, this is <laughs> <laughs> the label on this, it's, it's really, really early. I've, I've, never, seen, I've never seen it, yeah. It's 1980 or 81. The buttons are uh, a horn. What? Like actual horn? Like yeah. tusk? Yeah. What? Yeah, because it's 1980. It was like anything goes at the time. I think I like it. Yeah, and I like the little slits on the side. I feel like I can dress it up or down. Mm -hmm. Verdict? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Dude, that's actually fit. Uh, so what do we have here? Some campers. Got some essay skirt. Undercover shirt. Yogi vest. And what's that Giorgio Armani hat? Flex. Oh, we've been here two weeks. Yay! <laughs> How good. Yeah, well done, guys. It's yeah, always you filming this. me buying. Yeah, I never buy anything. Hey, it's always just her. But yeah, we've got no, a good purchase. <laughs> yes, for sure. For sure, for sure. But nice meeting you, man. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks all for the coming best. through. Dude, yeah. all good. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, it's great.
Pillows around this bed. Actual madness. Hopefully it stops raining because we've got a few places to go to. I'm gonna get a pedicure. Definitely gonna get my toes attended to. <laughs> um, I know Emmy's booked a very nice restaurant tonight. It's called Arthur. Set menu, boys and girls, fuck you guys. Kangaroo, and marrow, lobster, caviar, beetroot, and cheese soap. Mm -hmm. What you supposed to do? Swirl it around, sniff it. Seeing as Em doesn't know what she's actually eating, we'll go through what I've been eating. There's the first dish, the kangaroo off shops. Fuck. Lobster, yummy, beetroot, too beetrooty. The saldo, fucking delicious. The ocean trail, like a palate cleanser, so it's like fine. But I'm super excited for the Morton Bay bug. I'm hopefully you guys can see this, but I don't know. I've seen three kind of have been pretty good in the Cabbage, green capsicum, miso, 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 I don't even know, and then cabbage that was grilled. <laughs> well, anyways, this is my morning day It looks yummy. It looks yummy. What the fuck? You know it's good, man. It's like You know it's really good? Spot food in your mouth and you do this. Pretty good. in the shower, I'm going to do a little tour of this hotel room because what's the point of us being here without going through the pros and cons of spending $660 for two nights. Yeah, that of me. This is the door. As you can see, the hallway. Scary because you never want to get disturbed in the morn. Ah! Alright, nice little mirror. Little toilet. See, I'm not mad at having two rolls just in case things get freaky, so that's a plus. But you know, pretty standard bathroom. Nothing crazy. Uh, sorry, nothing crazy to rave one about. Here's a shower. A lot of these fucking curtains go. Honestly, I thought these curtains were going to be a hassle, but. Oh, that is. Oh shit. Lol. But you know what? It actually turned out to be quite the experience, and so I'll show you guys later. Um, see. 
little things like this, just putting cold water as we walk in, that's definitely a plus. There's even an orange in it to make it a bit more fancy, so this doesn't always happen at hotels like this, but this is much appreciated because we have no water and we're fucking dying. Tap water doesn't count. In. Working taps, very good, very good. Yeah, hotel should definitely provide complimentary snacks because you know all of these cost like $10 each. Yeah, if these are complimentary and I haven't been taking advantage, I'm gonna actually beat my dick. Um, I really like the little efforts that they put into these things, right? So this is a little guide around town. If you ain't a local, pretty cool. And on that as well, even just a little detailing like this, we're room 402. And as you can see, Focus, Paramount House Hotel, Room 402. So that's pretty cute. See that? Dude, you're going crazy. A nice plant here, some towels, bathrobe, some water. Kind of cool. Not quite my flavor, but oh well. This is the only thing that's an issue, this corner TV. Because look at this room and look at all the space that there is. That's the only place they can put the TV, really. I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. Oh, actually, before we go upstairs, look at this. What the fuck is this? Barely a beanbag, hey? Dude, like, what is this? <laughs> There's nothing in there. Basically, it's like a pile of clothes. But anyways, let's continue. Let's go up the stairs. Overall, it's standard bed. Some quirky artwork on the wall. Nothing crazy, a little snaky behind the bathrobe. Kind of cute. Do you have any feedback on the bed? Can I have a, I wish the pillows were comfier. You know, a little skylight, uh, which is actually quite a bit of annoyance this morning because it was raining today. So all you could hear was the rain smashing on there, which kind of woke me up. But you know, I guess on a sunny day, wouldn't be a problem and actually it would be quite nice. Also, we got this on a Christmas deal. So usually this room would be 440 bucks a night, but we got it for 330. And it's always a bit conflicting because Em and I like to travel and look at boutique hotels all around Sydney. And it's like, are they really ever worth it? But I guess it's just for the experience, nah mean. And seeing some cool shit, nah mean. But Final verdict. Nice. <laughs> nice. Come from the shower though, check out these fucking fresh nails though. Yo, yo, ew. There is a golden age double cocktail. I'm going to say it's one of these fancy bottles. And they're $35. Fuck. And they also come with a I thought they were cheese. And that's $30. Shit! What sort of cheese is that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Look how small it is. Mm, what? Is it 8 bucks? Is it alcoholic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is baby. How much is this? $5. Mm. You know what? I'm actually kind of tempted. The fuck? Yeah. Alright, let's do this the proper way then. Like this. At first I thought it was going to be too dark in there, but you know what? It kind of creates some sort of ambiance, don't you reckon? Yeah. Because you can still see the lights outside. That light. Moment of truth, give me a second. Ah! The fuck? Ah! Ah! It's actually quite nice. You have your own personal space, and you know what? That's actually pretty much it. Hi. Okay, so there's one more thing that I just realized. So I'm the type of person who likes peeing in the shower, but in this bathtub, the water builds up. So if I pee, I'm gonna be standing in my piss. Right, so I'm literally holding in my pee right now and I'm busting. But other than that, it's pretty good.
And that's that. It's go time. Now we're saying bye to the room. Bye, room. Bye, room. Bye, this. This thing. <coughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we're probably about like, what, 10, 15 minutes late for checkout. Oh, you think that? We are 12 whole minutes late. Oh, it's not that bad. So we're 12 minutes late for checkout. So it's go time. All right. So I had a splendid stay. Did you? Yeah, it was nice. Like I said. It was stupendous. Is what she meant. But yeah, we gotta go before we get like done by the ops. Christmas that so? Happy holidays. We wish you a holiday season of joy, rest and relaxation with friends and loved ones. Hope you enjoy this little gift from us to you, from the team. Chamara? Whoa. Organic table beer? Hey, wasn't this someone that was like $15? Paramount House Hotel, Cocoa, Camille, Organ, Tanzania with added hazelnut. Bird snake chocolate. Chocolate. Hey, how nice of them. See, if this is bumped up. The over experience to, I don't even know, but it's just super nice. So, thanks, guys. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year, guys. Could you say the same? One last time. Goodbye, y'all. Peace. Let's kick his ass. Let's kick his ass.